Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And the backlash has begun again. Again. <laughs> again for Cyberpunk 2077. All kinds of backlash. Uh, gaming journalists have been gunning for this game for the last year or two. It's a merry-go-round of backlash. It is, because CD Projekt Red is one of the few companies out there, few game developers out there, that has not uh, bent the knee to a lot of these Twitter outrage mobs. Mm -hmm. um, they've actually messed with them on multiple occasions. And uh, look, this game, the pre-orders are selling like crazy. We're going to talk about that. But of course, uh, gaming journalists are not happy. If it's not that them that they're bitching about not getting free copies of the game review, even though they've been attacking the mm -hmm. game uh, for quite some time, they're, they're bitching about trans representation in the game. This has been an ongoing uh, issue for the last year or so. I think they were trying to cause a non-traversy right, to, right. to get people to not buy the game. Uh, but it's not working very well because... The game, the pre-order sales are through the freaking roof. Well, it's hilarious because I know you and Squid King have been wanting to do this one so bad, yeah. but you knew it was going to be problematic because of some of the things that were supposed to be in the game, and now you found out there's a version that you can do that is stream-friendly. And i got to tell you, Squid King was like over the moon as soon as he found that one out. He was like, yes, because he's wanted to do it yeah. so bad. Clownfish TV Gaming, we do have a gaming channel out there. We do live streams. Check it out if you haven't done that. And also subscribe to Clownfish TV. For more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys, we're over 150,000 subs, hoping for 200,000 soon. And check out Geeky's Toy Drive. Yeah, sorry you keep pushing this, guys, but I'm not going to do it for a couple days. Uh, and then we'll go back to pushing the pins. But um, <laughs> <laughs> this, this is because we're taking the money and we're using it to go buy toys for, for kids. Uh, we're in a, a very economically depressed area normally. And with 2020, it got considerably worse for a lot of people. Um, and because organizations that usually do this, they themselves don't have enough money to cover the costs. We're trying to do what we can to help. So they can spend their money on other things like food for the elderly and things like that. Yeah, yeah. So um, we're trying to do that stuff. So you go to my um, Etsy store, um, everything that's on here uh, is going 100% to the, the money for toys for kids. Um, we're donating all of it, including the pouches from Mama Sparkles. These are handmade Mama Sparkles pouches. They have the, they're, I like the classic Ninja Turtles and Tron and different things like that. There's Ren and Stimpy, things you don't find, you know, normally out there. I'm not trying to shove it down your throats, but we're trying to make sure we get, that we have until the 10th or so to get the money to get the stuff for these kids. And there's still a lot of kids that need it covered. So we're going to do what we can do. Uh, if you can't do that, that's fine. Uh, we appreciate you watching the channel because by you doing that, we have, we're taking money of our own money and putting it in. And uh, if you can maybe help in your own area, um, that'd be great because, you know, one of the best things you can do is to help other people Yep. if you can. Um, and not just at Christmas time. If you can do things to, throughout the year to help others, please do. Even if it's just sharing, you know, information or, you know, sending good wishes, that still helps some people. So. Yeah, so check out the link in the comment section. I'll pin it to the top of the comment section, and you can find out how you can help. Uh, we are buying Nerf guns, even though Santa right. says not to. That's right. I have to laugh, though, because I'm sure there's so many people who have, think they have me pegged, and their heads are exploding right now. Like, she's a bitch. Why would she be doing things like this? You know? You know they're probably thinking it. I'm sure they are, because, you know, that's... Because I'm not a bitch until I do these videos. So here I come. <laughs> here comes Bitch Geeky. All right, so a uh, couple different articles here. This one's coming from Bounty in the Comics, talking about how journalists are salty. Uh, they did not get review copies of the game. Why? That's what they're mad about. Yeah, because they're used to getting free stuff. I'm mad because you expect me to buy your game and play it? I don't get a free... I don't get to play it before everybody else? Yep. So according to the article, some, some journalists who believe that they should be allowed more time to experience the game deemed CD Projekt Red, also the developers of the Witcher games, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, their withholding of the game from mainstream outlets as unacceptable, unacceptable, and found themselves unable to comprehend why the studio may have opted to explore alternate marketing well, outlets. Well, let's examine this for a couple of reasons. Well, we saw how they all were going on about how The Last of Us 2 was the greatest thing ever, even though we know that's not true. We saw certain outlets get handed free PlayStation 5s and the new Xbox, and they wrote articles about fascism and an article about how there's too many holes in it, and here's a, here's a complete history on a fear of holes. Yeah. So I wonder why. 
they have spent, look, a lot of these games, not all of them, but a lot of these games journalists have spent the uh, last couple of years taking a steaming shit on CD Projekt Red. So why would they give them a copy? Especially with all the uh, drama around the, the trans situation, which we're going to talk about. Which is a non-situation. A non-troversy. So why would they? Why would they, you know, suck up to them? Because they already know what they're going to say. Mm-hmm. You know, um, right? Why don't you go for, and why don't you go for the people who are actually going to play the games? I mean, I'm not saying all journalists d- don't, because there's a lot that are legit journalists. But as of late, we've seen a lot of journalists that aren't legit journalists. They just show for whatever, or they've actually just been using it as a chance to, you know, complain about you know, politics or something stupid that's unrelated to the game. And it probably does more damage to the to the people trying to sell the games. You're getting a free one, and you're pissing all over it. Oh yeah, yeah. Plus people aren't believing you because we saw them go go. Oh, Last of Us Two is the most amazing thing ever, and it, and and you couldn't even give the damn game away. Yet yeah. it still somehow won awards. What the hell? Yeah, they know how the game is played, they, and they're not playing they're the game. Changing the rules. The only way to play, the only way to win is not to play. Yep. So here we got complaints. The fact that influencers are getting custom care packages to be more free marketing for Cyberpunk, while those reviewers who will likely take this game to task still haven't gotten a code for a giant fucking game, is honestly emblematic of why we don't trust influencers. Here's no people trust influencers; they don't trust you. Yeah, and most of the backlash that uh, our channel gets and other channels get Mm -hmm. are from uh quote unquote journalists working for some of these media outlets and channels like ours are basically getting more traffic than your youtube channels are people flat out say they don't trust you anymore they don't trust the journalists anymore because basically a lot of these 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 platforms and quotes are just a bunch of people who have got up there on this on top of their pedestal and they want to use it as their political agenda driven whatever and you know like i said you get a free xbox and you complain about how there's too many holes and you have a fear of holes well, let somebody else review the damn xbox then you know i'm like this is stupid they're wasting money giving them to you um i can see what people are listening to influencers are not listening to journalists anymore so of course they're going to go give it to the influencers so this is interesting. In response to esports commentator P- Tom Pickering, who pointed out that influencers are worth more to publishers. So this is an esports commentator mm-hmm. saying influencers are worth more to publishers. Amen. Bigger reach more often than not. And a lot of people don't trust reviewers for yes. fair reasons due to some scumbags. Not all of them. Well, yeah, obviously. not everybody. But there are the, a lot of the noteworthy ones have been shitty. Yeah. And I'm and, and I'm sorry you give to influencers and they're and you're allowed to be honest. If it sucks, the influencers are going to say so. Because they're it's in their best interest to be honest about things. And the response is, get this Gamergate shit out of my mansion. This is not Gamer. Okay, this is what this whole thing's about. We're going to make you. it about Gamergate. <laughs> what can I do? Oh, my God. They said something smart. They said something that's that's honest and that, you know, I don't want to hear. Quick, label them Gamergate. Call them an instant phone so I can discredit them. And this is why people don't trust you. Yeah. This That exact comment is exactly why no one wants to see you get a copy of the game and no one listens to your shit. Your exact behavior is what is the root of all this and you're not getting your damn packages. People don't trust you anymore because instead of looking at it objectively, you just immediately start trying to call them instant phobes and call it Gamergate. Does anybody even use the term Gamergate other than BuzzFeed trying to make a movie about it now? This is why people don't trust you people. You know, grow the fuck up. Sorry, mom. Uh, so, yeah, the tweet was soon retweeted by Rock Paper Shotgun co-founder John Walker, who complained uh, after decades of attempting to wrangle the gaming press into something that does their marketing for them, publishers have instead had their dreams come true in the form right. of influencers. Yeah, so he's like, uh, it turned out to be incredibly difficult to buy off the gaming press. Well, that's not really what... Uh, then along came a whole new thing, a creepy facsimile of a gaming enthusiast press not only can be bought, but openly boast about it as they tell people how wonderful it is. Not that's not always with with influencers. That's no, not actually with. not. A lot of influencers will be honest with you. I've seen many of that will get products and they'll sell, they'll try them out and they'll say what they think. Now, I like this because of this, but I don't like it because of this. And you know what? When we've been given stuff from places, they've actually told us to be honest. Um, we, I'm not gonna say the company, but they sent us some stuff and they said, please be honest about it. Yeah. We don't want you to like say it's great because we told you to. Yeah. We want you to be honest. That's why we came to you and gave it to you because we knew you'd be honest. So that is a load of shit. Yeah. I mean, here, here, look, uh, Bounding in the Comics is actually recapping, you know, the drama that has been stirred up by 
the the gaming press over over this game. Mm -hmm. uh, it's curious that these journalists cannot fathom why the studio may be hesitant to engage with them on anything more than an industry professional level, considering how these past few months have seen numerous outlets and personalities take issue with and create hit pieces concerning almost yes. every element of this game. Sometimes even ignoring the context of the game's entire setting in order to justify yes, the outrage. that's true. Uh, they were mad because they flat out said that the game was not going to uh, invoke Black Lives Matter. Um, and then they're talking about the uh, trans, the, the transphobia. We're going to talk about that because that's oh the... Oh my God, yes, yes. That is the new thing uh, because of the mix it up uh, drink here and the the package on the female presenting person on the poster. So yeah, they don't look CD project red again, uh, developer of the Witcher games. They don't give a fuck. They really don't because they're out selling. They're selling so many of these games. And every time you do these hit pieces, they sell more damn games. So by all means continue. That's what happens. That's what they don't understand. These journalists are actually creating their own enemies. You look at what happened with uh, comics gate since they're talking about gates and people backed Comics Gate just because it spat in the faces of these comic book right. They, 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 yeah, but the the you know the um, enemy of my enemy is my friend. Yeah. Even if they don't necessarily agree with them 100, percent they're gonna go go give them money just because they're like giving you a giant middle finger. And you know, I thought the art piece was actually quite well done, even though they were worried about what the gender was. Yeah. I thought I think it's beautiful. I was like, well, it's a beautiful piece. Um, but it's you know, so then they get into this whole trans issue. Yeah, so this is... Why is everything about transphobia? Why is 2020 the year of transphobia? Because every th we need something to bitch about. Yeah, uh, apparently. That, this game has been under attack. We're getting, we're getting all these actors and stuff getting shoved in for parts because they're not straight, white, and male, but that's not enough. Now we have to go for the trans issue. Uh, so, of course, you know, CBR jumps on the bandwagon. Uh, we've got Polygon. All the people you expect. Polygon... It jumping sucks on the that their edgelord marketing works so well. So wait, any of these people that are influencers that aren't them are edgelords? Is that what they're they're implying? This is says the people who shill so hard for things like, you know, Last of Us 2. Yeah, I mean, this is, look, I think this is going to rip the mask off for the general public. Rip the mask off of, of gaming journalists and pop culture journalists and whatever. Because they've spent so much time demonizing this game. And I think in movies we had it with Joker. This yes. happened with Joker, where the Joker was demonized by all these media outlets and actually made more money because people wanted to give the finger to journos. Right. Uh, Comicsgate made a ton of money in comics because they wanted to give the finger to journos. And I think Cyberpunk is going to make a shit ton of money. And again, it's not about being an edge lord; It's about telling, <sighs> telling these media outlets where... Their faces belong. Yeah, and yes, and I mean, I mean, does it really does the word edge lord really mean anything it when means it comes nothing. from douchebags? I mean, I'm just saying, it I means can play nothing. this game too. Um, so yeah, it's all about this ad. There's a lot of things, and they're they're mad now about uh, the ability to uh, change gender on your characters, and that the voice of your characters determined by what's between their legs. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. So basically, they are. It, this is really it's a high customizable. I think more so than pretty much anything that really has been yeah. done before. And you can go ahead and you can even choose no gender if you want to be like, if you're somebody who doesn't identify as either or whatever, you can choose all that stuff. And the fact that you, that you, you know, what you choose there isn't really what, you know, project, projects your gender so much as the voice does apparently. And apparently that means, you know, that means that's anti-trans people because... Why? Uh, because according to CBR, it is it is uh, fetishizing. Oh yeah, it's and fetishizing, commoditizing uh, trans bodies. Well, what the hell are you supposed to do? You <laughs> bitch and moan that you don't get the you, know, you don't aren't able to customize it to accommodate more people and how they identify. So they make it so that you can do that, and now you're pissed because you're saying they're fetishizing things. It's like, would you pick a fucking side? Sorry, mom, but I think she'd agree with me here because this is absolute garbage. You cannot win. So, you know, they, they gave us everything we wanted quick. Say it's against trans people. And then, and then if it isn't for trans people, let's look at it this way. The general public, most people at this game is going to play this game. So the majority of people who are going to play this game are not people that fall into the category of that they identify differently or that they're trans. And I'm not saying that they shouldn't have a presentation for that, but this game is giving you that. And that's still not enough because it's fetishizing that. Well, you're fetishizing a girl with big tits. You're fetishizing a guy with muscles and a big schlong. So it's the same damn thing. Whether they're straight or gay. And Neo doesn't want to say to that. You can opt to be schlongless. I guess that's, you don't right, have to Right, that's have, what I'm saying. You don't have to even have yeah, you genitals. Don't, you don't have to. You can be. But if you want a big 
object to overcompensate for something, you can have that as well. Now, here we go back to what they're pissed about, I think. Uh, it's about not getting review copies. Cyberpunk That's is That's what the whole thing's game. about. That's yeah. all it's about. Which means it's hard for reviewers with their limited time playing the game to accurately state that Cyberpunk 2077 has no meaningful LGBTQ representation. There are occasional appearances of trans flags and a few characters who may or may not be LGBTQ, but the majority of characters appear to be cisgender and heterosexual. Again, because in the real world, and this is nothing against anybody who doesn't, who isn't hetero or cisgendered at all. Because I, anybody who knows me and I have friends that are not will tell you that we are not the least bit mean or bigoted towards them. Unless you're a douchebag and they come right. in all Yeah, that doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't matter what color, race, or sexual orientation, gender you are. You can be a total douchebag and that doesn't, you know. But the majority of people in the world are not those things. They are not, you know, they are not uh, you know, LGBTQ, they are not trans. The majority of people are cisgendered hetero. No matter how much that the media wants to say that that's not the case and in real relationships, modern whatever, modern this, it does not change that fact. I am sorry if it pisses you off. It is the reality. You know what? There is not a whole lot of effing redheads in the world and they keep taking all my redhead representation away and that's fine. You know, I'm just like, because I know statistically, statistically speaking, I can't speak. Statistically speaking, I am a vast minority and I understand that. And I'm not, I honestly joke about it, but I'm not that offended by it. And it's just that these people, they just keep trying to, to spin this narrative that's not true. And you, but it's not the other day, they're giving you representation. They're still representing people. They admit it. They admit it. Yeah. They said there's trans flags, there's, there's LGBTQ yeah, characters. But it's not enough. That's not enough, because don't you know, even though it's statistically speaking is, is, is inaccurate, you should have 95% that are their representation and 5% that are hetero and cis, if, if any. Because that's, that's their world, their bubble. Um, so according to, according to CBR, CD Project Red has leaned into transphobia. I do remember... Uh, I do remember that they had this joke. They basically made the joke about assuming someone's gender... Uh, last year and they tried to cancel this game and all it did was build up excitement. The original tweet which has been taken down was actually about uh, I want more guys, I want more guys at Gamescom and they said that you just assume their gender. Uh, it was supposed to be a harmless joke but that apparently... You're allowed to be funny, did you not know this? Yeah, they removed, they removed the tweet um, and they apologized but they, look, the gaming press has had it out for this company for quite some time and this game is basically a throwback to you know old school sensibilities and it's that's not allowed in 2020 no uh, because they're not going to change this game censor this game like they did sam and max sam and max is is coming out it's getting a remaster they cut out 15 year old jokes because they were so afraid of offending Twitter and CBR Don't and Polygon. Don't give a flying fuck what CBR and Twitter and all them think. How about that? That's what they're not. They're not. That's what they're going to influencers right. and YouTube people and stuff like that. Because they know, the same as people like us, that these journalists are full of crap. Yeah. And that's what they're salty about. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the, the control that is so funny that they're they're crying about you know, not getting this one game when these games journalists have controlled the narrative. And they've been out for, for years. It. Like, yeah. as Bounty of the Comics yeah. pointed out, they've been gunning for this game for months. Why the hell would they give you free copies when you've been dicks about this entire time? Don't, There's your dick. Don't assume genders. But you can be a dick and not have one. You can be a dick and a pussy and a douchebag. At the same all time. All at the same time. And an asshole. You can be a dick, pussy, asshole, douchebag, as many of these journalists are. Right, all at the same time. All at the same time. Um, yeah, so there's that. There's there's your gender fluid right yeah, there. Yeah, you know, there you go. There we go. All right. <laughs> We're going to wrap this one up. Yes. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, I guarantee you they did not send us a care package. Uh, would have been cool if they did. But we're not big enough, and that's okay. We're not offended in any way, shape, or form. We still take their side on this because they were right I think, in what they're doing. Somebody needs to tell these journos to go fuck themselves. We've been for a while. They hate us. Yeah, that's why they hate us. That's why they hate them. That's why they hate them, yep. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, 
Ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.